I'm really excited. We got these Topo Chicos today. Well, that's still, please, over here. Mm -hmm. Mineral water. My favorite. They sell these at Sprouts, but we actually have gotten these this morning from Amazon Fresh Delivery. I'm so excited about it. I've not been able to get an Amazon Fresh Delivery in like a month. Like when you would check, they just didn't have any delivery windows for like the next three days out. It would say not available, not available, not available. Finally got one yesterday. I was so excited. So funny, the little things like... So, um, I didn't have to get these from Sprouts, but they do sell these at Sprouts. They don't sell very many places. They're delicious. They're from Mexico. Just mineral water. Okay, so I got this tuna. So this is a lot of tuna, as you see. I grabbed two because I'm just going to cut it up and we're just going to have this for snacks for the next day or two. Because um, as, as you guys, if you had seen or maybe you didn't watch my last couple scopes, I was not able to get the 93% organic beef that I normally like. I went to Walmart. They were out. They had the 85%. In the past, I have chosen the 85%. But you know what? As I've done that several times, I realized I think going for the tuna and the chicken is better. Even though, like I said, I don't like the corn aspect of chicken, if you all remember. But I do not like that the fat they use for that 85%. I think they add like a different fat. I'm not even sure because it tastes different. It's very strange, huh, Jared? I don't know what they do with the 85%. It really works. It tastes very different. It's not nearly as uh, tasty and it's so oily. It's so oily. So I, I went with the tuna and the organic chicken. So now I'm going to cut this up in into slivers here. So let's see. I know there's a I've only done this a couple of times, so we're going to see. I got to try. I know there's a spot where you can start cutting that makes it really smooth. Let's see if we can find it. That's too bad. Sorry. There's probably someone on here, an expert, saying that's not the right way. Because I know there's one spot where you cut and it just cuts really smooth, and then other parts it cuts not so smooth with tuna. I found this out. I just started cutting tuna. I think this is not the right way. Let's see. So I'm just going to make these slivers. Put them in here, in this bowl here. We're just gonna get these slivers, and this will be. Second, then we're gonna make something with it. Let me see where the good spot is to cut. I know there's a part when you cut, and it can be so smooth, or it can be not so smooth if you do it wrong. So let's see. I think this is the smooth part. Yeah, this is better. Okay, now we're getting better. So there we go. We got some nice slivers. But um, this is, you know, when people eat sushi. This is the expensive part, but then they add all that rice, and then people are just eating tons of rice, which is very inexpensive, and you're not even getting the good stuff. You're eating all of the rice instead of all this wonderful meat. This is the part of the sushi that's expensive, and that was, that was good for you. The rice is not. Rice is super cheap, and I would not recommend re eating rice, to be honest. I think it has uh, too many carbs. I think it's um, the consistency is similar to like the gluteny consistency, so I don't like that. Like I say, any of that kind of pasty stuff, I don't find that's good for your digestive system. Because think about the food going in and coming out. You want it like this is something that's easy to eat. Um, anything like like rice. If you ever let rice, uh, you know, sit for a minute, you'll see it just becomes just such a paste. And think of that on your insides, you know. So I just cut this up, and we're just going to, this is just going to be our snack. You know, I'm not the most beautiful cutter of uh, sushi. That's not my thing. I uh, just, the, actually, the first time I ever cut sushi, I think, was last week, or the week before, right, Jerry? Mm -hmm. So I'm not, uh, this is not about being the most beautiful chef here. This is just about making it accessible when, so later you can have it as a snack and not have to, uh, if you really are hungry. Now, a lot of what we eat, like when we do the beef, it's not so accessible, so that's one nice thing about when you do the sushi, then you can have it. But when something is too accessible, it makes it easier to eat, so you can tend to overeat. So having something hard to make, like make it a little bit harder where you have to actually cook it is a good thing. It'll prevent you from overeating for sure. Because you really think you're hungry when you when you and a lot of times you just think you're hungrier than you are. And if you took the time to wait to see if you're hungry, see that gets a little not so pretty at the end there. Then we got this other, I don't know if I can fit both this on, but I'll pop this in a sandwich bag actually. We'll hold on to that one for tomorrow. They didn't both fit. So, uh, 
This will be tomorrow. And maybe this will even, we might not eat all that today. But I'm definitely You need to sharpen your knife, they say. Yeah, I know. Do you have a knife sharpener? I don't. Yeah, you do. You have that little, the, the thing. Right there. Oh, I do. Oh, there it is. Thank, oh, can you yeah, do that before I do my chicken? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, yes. Are you doing the chicken next? Yes. Okay, yes. I sure will. Yes, do that right now. Generous will do it for me here. Okay. That's right. I forgot. Let me clean this up. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. I know. I was telling someone that earlier. So I did need to sharpen my knife. The thing is, normally with what I cook, I don't. Because we don't normally do this. This is what I'm saying. I'm no expert in this. This is just, um, we just started doing this since the shutdown of the tuna. I normally cook just the beef. Um... Excuse me. And ever since this, gosh, there's so many waters in there. It's so full. Okay. Yeah, I'll have Jerry sharpen my knife. I'll sharpen that right now. Let me put this in the cell. I did have one of those things. I forgot, you guys. That's right. I'm really bad at these. Here you go. Let me try it. Let me do it. like vinegar and stuff with garlic to pour to dip the sushi in. Okay. I think I only need a couple. There we go. Now I use a ton of garlic. People are like, oh my God, we love garlic and I find it to be so beneficial. It has so many healing benefits for it. If you're sick, it's so good, but we eat so much on a daily basis. And if you cook it, you're not going to get that horrible garlic breath that you think. It's that's uncooked garlic that's really, really strong. When you cook it, it's it's not so strong. You don't have constant garlic breath. <laughs> okay, so with garlic, if you've never done that, make sure you cut off the top and the bottom first. And then some garlic, it'll peel off really nice all in one piece. These ones are not particularly those that kind. These ones, you more have to peel off with your fingernails, so there can be a pain. And um, if your fingers are wetter, it's better. Because they're very sticky. Some garlic is so wonderful, and you're like, oh, it just comes off so easy, and you just cut off. They always show that on the shows. They'll show the chefs doing that. No, they have to get special garlic to do that. It's like, like you never, you don't need, and when you're doing organic, you don't know. But like they make sure before they do the show that the garlic that person has is that kind, so they're like, doo, 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 and it's all flows beautifully. Because it can be, some can be a real nightmare. Some of it's so hard, you're sitting there, I'll spend so much time just taking this shelling off of the garlic, and then other ones, it just, just literally drops right off. Excuse my mouth, blow my nose in a second. So I had, um, 
than walking earlier. I mentioned my other scope. So here in Vegas, when you walk outside, the dry weather just really gets it, where you get runny nose and watery eyes and stuff. And, um, so I'm often blowing my nose, and you know, um, people think you're sick, especially now with this virus. But I've always been doing that here because whenever I, I, I just I don't know, I am very sensitive to that. So when I go outside, when in this dry weather, if I'm walking, my nose just runs and my eyes water and stuff. And now you feel so self-conscious because everyone's like, oh my God, are you sick? <laughs> no. I've been doing that before this whole coronavirus drama. Y'all just didn't notice then. So I just cut some garlic here. I'm making this for a, a dip for the um, sushi over here that we have. We may or may not use this. We're kind of going back and forth if we want to deal with the vinegar, but I wanted to make it uh, to kind of show you guys what we do, and we'll probably do it. But like I said, we had a little issue. That's going to be enough. I don't even need that. I'll put this one back. So that's enough garlic for this. It's going to be strong. <laughs> we like that strong garlicky flavor once in a while. Now, if you eat What are you making? What I'm making is um, a little bit of a dip, in a sense, for the sushi. Um, because all we're going to eat is the sushi like that, the rice. So we're going to then uh, dip it in this. So it's basically, I'm just making like some strong seasoning here for the vinegar. So I'm using just the ingredients I have because I don't go get extra stuff. So I always have garlic because I always cook with garlic. So I'm using that. And I'll show you what other seasonings I'll just throw in there because that's what I have. I don't change my seasonings according to what I'm cooking. I just have certain seasonings I like and I stick with those and I make them work for everything. And the ones I like are rosemary, thyme, oregano, and black pepper, and garlic. Um, today I don't have rosemary. I meant to grab it at Sprouts, I forgot. But I have oregano, thyme, and black pepper, so I'll show you some. And of course, garlic. I go nuts if I don't have garlic. I, I, I lose it. I'll go across town. I've had to go to several stores to get garlic before. Remember that, Javich? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, because it's just my staple. I, I cook with everything with garlic. And it, it just flavors so beautifully. And it also is so beneficial. And it also gives you a little bit of carbs because we are so lean on our carbs that this actually, we get a little bit from the garlic. So we can actually be very generous with the amount of garlic we use because we don't really, we only get our carbs from a little bit of um, collard greens, kale, and garlic. So now I'm gonna put it in here. I am not one of those where you're going to be all germ, oh my gosh, whatever. You know what, they're good and bad germs, and a lot of them are good that we actually need, and people want to kill all the germs, but that's why I don't do that antibacterial stuff. You get rid of all your good germs, so I'm going to put some vinegar in here. This, we got the organic. Not just enough. To really good at a healthy. I got the organic one. I just found that at um, Sprouts. Yeah, hold it over here, can I see it? Mm -hmm. Just hold it for a minute. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is use the seasonings I have, um, which I have. As you, this one, okay, I'm almost out, so this looks better if you see the one. <laughs> and then this What's one's up? almost gone. This is like an empty jar. So I luckily I got a backup. As I get low, if I'm able, when they're doing a delivery, I check out a couple of things because I know it's so hard to get supplies now. So this I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take the thing because this is getting so low. I'm gonna use a lot of this probably in here. I just get a really healthy amount of uh, the thyme in here. Thyme I love. It has such a nice flavor. And then um, some black pepper. Stir it up. Oops. And 
And this is what you do. As simple as those ingredients that kind of seem like good. I'll give a sample here. Let's see. I said I wasn't going to do the vinegar, but let's just see. That was a very thin piece I made. <laughs> yeah, I, the knife I should have sharpened because it's hard to eat like that. Okay, you want to give it a try, Jared? I'd love to. Let me, just, let me see what we got cooking. What you got cooking? Yeah, so it's got a lot of flavor in there with the spices. These are very thick pieces. Thank you so much for telling me to sharpen my knife. I knew I needed to do that. So now that's going to be a snack. I'll put that in there. We don't care about cooties and all that. It's just me and him. So we can double dip. We can do whatever we want. Uh, so that's that. Let me get these out of the way. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the chicken. But I'm not going to cook the chicken right now. Because we're just going to eat some of that. Let me... Does anyone know if this needs to be refrigerated? White vinegar? After it's been opened? I, don't... I think it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh. I think it should be good to go. I think it's good to leave out. I'm going to just put it in. I don't even fit. I'll find a spot for it later. We have the try. worst cupboards here. That's a good thing we don't eat too much of the other stuff because we wouldn't be able to fit them in our cupboards. We have the worst. Oh, you want some chopsticks? Here. Take a little easier. Yes. What do you think of that vinegar? Spicy. Yeah, the apple cider was a little bit, I think, it made it not so sweet. Made it sweet. Yeah, it made it sweet. And there was that it's way better. I don't like it sweet. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah, that's just sweet. This is delicious. Good. I prefer this over, over no, the sweet. No, we don't like sweet anymore. It's from like, the apple cider vinegar. If you don't eat sweet anymore, when you do eat it, it's not so good. Yeah. I'm going to have one more piece. You can actually take that with you. I got work to do. I know, but I will be moving out of the way, so if you want, we put it over here. Cause okay. I'm Lunch is served, I guess. For now. Uh, I'm going to later make chicken, but after... I got to pay rent. I'm sorry about the friend. Is they open? Oh, they just opened. They changed their hours now. So I'm going to put this back here. It's just stuck on this a few months. The vinegar is a little strong. We hadn't done that with that. We did last time with the apple cider vinegar. Let me wipe this off. Switching to chicken now? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna cut this. Oh, wait, no, I think it's all. I'm gonna cut oh, this. Oh, for yours. I keep the pears. Now, now cut, your, cut your thing and start a new recording, please. For the, for the chicken. Okay, shut the mic. There you go. See, this is not about being an expert. This is showing what you can simply do at your home to eat healthy and be in shape. And actually, this is very inexpensive. Do you want to know the price of this whole chicken? Which will make like two meals at least for us. Um, Hold it for me. $16.13. Not too bad. Not too bad for two meals. If you have a family, it'll probably make one meal. But for two people, it'll make about two meals. If you eat a lot, it might be one meal, but still, $16 for one meal, and you eat a whole chicken, that's a hard meal. If you're someone that can eat, some people get, drivers can eat a whole chicken. Yeah. yeah How much was it? He said? $16.13. Let's show you the exact whole price. This is from Sprouts. Can they see that? Can you yeah. guys see that? Yeah, just hold, hold back a little bit. So that's it, the price, and this could make one to two meals, depending on the size of your family or, or how much people eat. But um, I'm gonna cut in here. This one, I think they already took the gizzards out, hopefully that's always good. Yeah, without giblets. I mean, those are so nasty. Let's 
so they already took the giblets out, so that's really good. <coughs> so when I cough, that's because I'm still healing, because right before I got him on here, I did a bong hit, and I'm healing from all those years of uh, bulimia. Now, some people do not like to eat animals, as we've talked about with the vegans and vegetarians. I was a vegan for 12 years. And I, or 10 or something, I can't even remember. Sometimes the years I'll say a little bit wrong. I started when I was 12, and I think I did it for 10 years, something I can't remember, one of the two. And, but it was for a long time I was a vegan. It was before anyone else was. Start, I started in like 1995. Um, I just gotta do the math in my head, I just never do that. <laughs> I just throw out numbers and I'll be like, wait, that was wrong, it's funny. When it comes to like my life, I always, I always I seem to forget. I'll be like, oh, it was only last year. Jared says, that was like five years ago. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but um, if you get organics, then as you saw on the package, let me show you if you didn't see. No antibiotics ever. No added hormones. Um, this one says fed, fed vegetarian diet, which is the issue I don't particularly like. I'll take it with that. Um, organic. Uh, what else we got in here? We got um, non-GMO project verified. We got all these things. All of these things can make you feel better to know. Oh, free range on here. Free range. That means the chickens got to have free range. They were not in cages. All of these labels can make you feel better if you're someone that loves animals, which is most of us. Very few people hate animals. If they do, that's very strange. So most people love animals. So when uh, vegans or vegetarians think they're the only people that love animals, I mean, everyone loves animals. Like I said, I mean, some people don't, but they're weird. <laughs> they're weird. Um, so we got our chicken here. You can know this chicken was taken care of because it's, you read on the packages, and I say, oh, well, how you know? Well, you know, there's some things you just got to be like, okay, this is the best thing I can do at the current state of life right now. Um, yeah, maybe I wish that some of them had even better lives, but we can only do so much. Like, I can only buy the organic options that are available, right? So that, and also, eating the dead is a great thing. You want to eat this animal. This animal has knowledge that he's now going to pass on to me and Jedi Rich, because we are eating this animal, and he is okay to give up his life because he got to go to a different place. And I say he, because this particular was a he and I know that only because right now when I said that if it was a she I would have said she because that is what happens when you spend time with the meat that you consume you'll get to get a feel that that animal had whatever existence they had and you can sense that you all call me crazy no and you can be very in tune with animals what's those tiger shows that we watch I mean those guys not that amazing, some of that stuff? And then you say, oh, that, that animal will bite your head off. Yeah, if it's hungry. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Animals will eat other animals. Excuse me. I'm still um, Animals will eat other animals. Oh, it's from this chicken. He's dirty. He got, he got poo poo on him or something. <laughs> um, uh, animals will eat other animals. And when they're hungry. And they think it's ridiculous that we decide to be vegans and vegetarians. But anyways, the healthiest you want to be, if you want to look, if you think, if, if you think I look thin, you go, how do you look so thin? By eating animals. Organic animals. So, I'm going to start with this guy. What do we got going on? We got his, uh, the back here, where he's got a lot of bones going on here. We don't want to start there. We want to start on the side that's got the breasts. Um, now, I was never taught how to cut a chicken. I'm just going to cut this chicken because I decided it was cheaper to, then this is how I learned how to cut the chicken, right? Okay, so you all might be experts and you oh, that's not how cut a chicken, whatever. So I'm going to start with taking one of these legs off here. And I'm just going to come from right here and I'm just going to start peeling off uh, the, the leg here. And it comes off pretty smoothly until you get towards the back here. And then you start to find a little bit of bone and things. So then we got to cut a little bit harder. And now we got a leg off, okay? Now we're gonna come to the other side, do the same thing. We're gonna start from back here. And we're just gonna start cutting along that ridge. It's gonna be a very smooth cut till we get to the end. And then we gotta cut harder, right? 
two legs. The same thing with the wings. We're going to find where's our smooth area where we want to just kind of cut with the wings. We have options too. You can give yourself a little thicker wing by just going bop down there and, you know, just kind of getting a feel where you want your wings to be at, how big of a wing you want. You can cut off those how you like. Okay. Got this other wing coming. There we go. Now we've got two legs, two wings. That could be a meal. Let's get those even out of the way, or should we leave them here? What do we like? What do we want? Get those out of the way, put them in bags. Want to do that? Okay. So there we have a meal. Let me get the sandwich bags. I'm going to wipe off my head. I hate the feel of chicken. It's so, so slimy. Chicken is so slimy. So let's get our freezer bags. And let's pick our little uh, baggies here that we got. We got a leg. And a wing. Now when I want to cook later, I don't have to cut the chicken. I'll have those ready and I can make meals out of these. I don't care if the bags are a little slimy because I've been cooking them soon enough. Get those in the fridge. Now we got this whole big old, we got our um, the best part here, the breast, but we got this all this gunk in the back. You all might know what to do with this. I tend to just get rid of this crap back here because it's so bony. I just kind of get rid of that. You might want to cook that. I don't know. I don't like this part. I take this and I just pop that in the trash. I don't know. Someone's like, oh, this is the best part. I don't know. To me, that just doesn't seem much to work with. And now we have left two breasts, and we're gonna just cut those down the middle. Okay. There we go. Voila! We got two breasts. Bone-in breasts. These are bone-in breasts. You can debone them later if you want. You, I like to cut them in half when I cook them usually. Get your two breasts. Now I'm going to bag those up. So slimy. Sliminess. Bag those up. Now you just add a $16 chicken. Has just been made into how many meals? Look at you have two full breasts, two full huge legs, two full wings for $16. That, those are some hefty meals right there. Right there. Oh, it's so slimy. Chicken's so slimy. It's a little thing I can't say about chicken. I'm just gonna close these up. Since I'm cooking them soon, I'm just gonna leave them in the plants. Okay, I'm gonna put a slime on the bags. Cause I'll be cooking those later. If I was going to be starting up for longer, I would have wiped them off a little better, but I've got slime that's on my fingers. I hate the, hate the chicken slime. So that is how, excuse me, that really got, I really got running those after walking outside all that time. Though. Uh, that is how I cut up a whole chicken. That is how you easily get two to three, one to two to three meals, depending on you know how much chicken you eat, out of $16. You know what I mean? Uh, even if it's one meal, $16 is not very much money for like a, I mean, you will be stuffed if you eat a whole chicken. Normally you'd pay $20 and they'd give you one tiny chicken breast or something at a restaurant. You can eat the whole chicken now for $16 and, uh, and lose weight. You can eat that whole chicken every meal. If you're right now, no matter what weight you are, even if you're my weight, I could eat a whole chicken. Oh, good catch. I could eat a whole chicken every meal 
and probably still be about as thin as I maybe a little bit more because that'd probably be a little much for me but Jedi Rich could easily do it and he does pretty much that's about what he eats um, we don't do chicken as often we do beef but it'd be about the same calorie relation of what we eat with the beef to um, a whole chicken even a chicken might even sometimes when we eat the chicken we're a little bit still hungry because beef is so filling versus chicken so now that's what we're going to work on we have tuna as you guys saw so next time uh, my knife will be sharpened better thank you whoever told me that uh, I already knew that but then I, as I'm talking I forget them whatever um, and then we got that chicken I'll be making but I have some more errands I gotta do and then I'll probably make some chicken but I probably won't scope it maybe tomorrow we'll do a chicken scope of actually cooking it um, because I've done a lot of scopes today <laughs> So, anyways, you guys, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for all the input. Like I said, this is just one person showing other people how we uh, stay in shape and what we eat and how we're making it through this 45-day shutdown here in Las Vegas on day 27. So don't be like thinking, oh, uh, you know, oh, I could do it better or this and that. Good. That's what I want you to feel because I want you to do it at home. This is not where, that, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? It's not like, I'm not trying to show anyone up here. I'm not trying to be the expert chef here. I show you guys very, very simple things that everyone can do. And that that's, you know, the point. Yeah. And we'll all have the time right now if we're not working, you know, during this quarantine time or whatever. So don't say you don't have the time to make homemade food right now. Now you have plenty of time. Make some homemade food. It'll be fun. And it's healthier. Catch y'all later. Uh, uh, check us out on JediRich.com. Always. That's where we will be. But also check out on um, YouTube. We are Jedi Rich Creative Producer. We are trying to get a thousand subscribers because then we can do live broadcasts over there. Actually, I think there's a lot of things you get too. And then you can actually start getting paid. But that's a mess with that. I was talking about that earlier. But anyways, the big thing we want to do live broadcasts on YouTube. That would be fun. So uh, we're close. We're like 980 something. So if you all could just jump over, subscribe over there, get us up to a thousand, that'd be really fun. Um, and I, I would love to do some YouTube lives. Those, they let us for a minute, and then they change the rules and said you had to have a thousand subscribers. We're like, oh man, change the rule right when we were doing the lives. Remember that, Jerry Rich? Always happens to us. Anyways, thanks everyone. I'll catch y'all later. JediRich.com. The Naked Jedi too. Naked Jedi for everything. We have a Naked Jedi uh, Periscope, Naked Jedi YouTube. That's Jedi Rich's Na thing. Is as someone had called him the Naked Guy, so we ran with it. <laughs> so he's the Naked Jedi. All right, catch y'all later. Great job. How was that? Wonderful. Wonderful. Maybe we should get some Naked Jedi merchandise. Huh? We should sell Naked Jedi merchandise. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what these turds. The thing is, you can see how you get wrapped into it, because if you have some people, like, saying, it's cool, but, like, man, think about... Not the death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin. This is not for you. I'm a jail, my beat with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the market, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. It's like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down or lay down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out.